add dimensions to the structure. Now that the 3D structure is complete, you'll add dimensions to show that you can use the model for construction detailing. You'll move the entire structure to a new design layer so it can easily be isolated from the rest of the design. Usually, I'd encourage you to avoid placing dimensions onto your design layers. Best practice is to place dimensions and text as annotations on a viewport. You'll learn more about this later. However, 3D dimensions, such as those we're about to create, need to be created on the design layer. Using the linear dimension tools, change the view to left isometric. Click the layers button on the view bar to open the organization dialog. Highlight the layer green roof structure and then click Edit. Note that the green roof structure layer is at the same elevation as the hard landscaping layer, that is, the lower level of the garden. Click Cancel and click Cancel again to close the organisation dialog. Click the Selection tool and select the structure. As all the elements have been enclosed within a single auto-hybrid object, one single click selects it. On the Object Info palette, change the Layer field to Green Roof Structure to place the items on that layer. The object will no longer display. Make Green Roof Structure the Active Layer. Change Layer Options to Active Only to hide the rest of the design. The Auto Hybrid is still selected after being moved to this layer. Using the Selection tool, click on a blank space on the drawing to deselect it. On the DIMS Notes toolset, choose Constrained Linear Dimension. On the toolbar, change Dimension Standard to ARC, short for Architectural. There are many different dimension styles for you to experiment with. Choose Text, Format Text. On the Format Text dialog from the Style menu, choose Dimensions 10 Point. This is a predefined series of settings that are displayed for you in the rest of the dialog. Click OK. Click on two points at the base of one of the pillars. Move the cursor away from the base and click to place the dimension on the model. Place dimensions to show the span of the pillars. Continue to add dimensions to the pillar and posts. As you do this, notice that dimensions can be placed on any 3D plane. Vectorworks includes a wide range of dimensioning tools for different types of geometry. You should explore the DIMS and Notes toolset. It's not appropriate to place all dimensions for this structure as 3D objects. Because of the angled planes of the roof, We'll add further dimensions later when we create presentation sheets for the design. On the navigation palette, click on the Classes button. In the Visibility column to the left of the Dimension class, click in the middle column to hide the dimensions. Dimensions are automatically assigned to the Dimension class. On the navigation palette, Click the Layers button and change Layer Options to Show Snap Others. Return to Top Plan View. On the Navigation palette, notice the small X beside the Green Roof Structure layer. The layer is currently invisible. Click in the leftmost column under Visibility to restore the visibility of this layer when you work with other layers. Save your file and enjoy a sense of achievement. Congratulations, you've covered a lot in Section 3. If you think back to the objectives we set at the start, we've looked at how to use the hard landscaping tool to draw hard landscaping areas. We've looked at how to create a worksheet to create hard landscaping quantities. We've created symbols and used ready-made symbols within the design. We've used the custom stair tool to create steps, created freestanding garden walls, stepped and with coping and we've modelled a simple freeform 3D structure and added dimensions to it. 
When you move on to the following section, you'll complete a planting plan for the planting beds and create planting for the green roof on the structure.